This is the new 2023 Ford Escape. This particular Escape is a platinum model, which is one of the highest trimmables, and it's finished in vapor blue. And powering this Escape is the two liter EcoBoost engine, which makes around 250 horsepower. Now there are actually four different powertrains or engine configurations for the 2023 Escape here. We have that two liter EcoBoost, and we also have a 1.5 liter EcoBoost. On top of that, we have two hybrid versions, which includes a mild hybrid, as well as a plug-in hybrid version. For 2023, Ford did give the Escape a little bit of a redesign. So we do have a little bit of an updated 23 model here. And we're gonna take a quick walk around the outside and then we're gonna hop into the interior. And we'll start with the front end styling of the 2023 Escape. Now uh, we're again forward to redesign the entire thing. So we do have a completely different front end. And we'll start here with the headlights. Now LED is actually now a standard feature across all trim models. Uh, so we do have standard LEDs, which is definitely nice, uh, just to keep the front end a little bit more modern. Now this is actually the upgraded LED. Uh, there are two different headlight options. Again, this is sort of that top trim. So we do have the LED projector bulb here and Ford does stick a little Ford LED kind of logo in that little uh, uh, piece of the, uh, the headlight there. So that's definitely nice. And we do have an LED fog light as well. And if we move along to the grill, we do have also a new design feature and that is the coast to coast LED, which is what Ford calls it. So this uh, piece here is actually illuminated. It is an LED strip and you can kind of see the design aspect where it kind of starts in the headlight and then makes its way around uh, to that grill and then the other headlight there. So that is a new feature and LED light bars are kind of now becoming a trend in the automotive industry. They're making their way back. So we do have that feature here on this particular platinum model. And if we take a look into the grill, we do also have the front camera, which is now part of the 360 camera package, which is now available on 23 Escape, and uh, it was not available for 22. So that is a new feature, and it's definitely welcomed. We also have the front parking sensors. So we do have a 360 sensing system, uh, which again, which kind of helps with that parking maneuvers and, and tight parking spaces. So that's definitely nice. And down here, we do have the adaptive cruise control sensor. So this is your radar sensor uh, that is used for adaptive cruise control. And this paint color is truly, truly gorgeous. This is the vapor blue metallic, which is also new for 23 and is, uh, is available on a couple other models like the 24 Mustang, uh, but it's available here on the 23 Escape. And if we move down here, we also have the wheel design. Now this is the standard wheel for the Platinum, which is a 19 inch wheel. It's wrapped in a 225-55 all season tire. Good looking wheel. We also have a nice body colored mirror, as well as the side view camera, again, for that 360 system. So there's the side view camera, as well as the blind spot indicator in that top corner. And also standard with the Platinum is the roof rail system right there. So you can mount all types of different accessories. And if we come out to the back end, we do have the redesigned rear end here. So we do have the LED taillight, uh, which is actually now standard as well. Escape badging, just like the previous model, uh, kind of spelled out there in the, in the top. And we also have the class two trailer tow package. So we do have that four pin connector as well as the class two hitch receiver and your platinum badge on the back. And if we make our way around to the side here, uh, I'll talk about the side profiling. Now, if you're familiar with the previous Escape, uh, this will look very, very similar to you. It's very familiar as an Escape, but we do have uh, one new addition, and that is the new ST line, which would actually uh, give you body colored surround. Uh, so here in the wheel well, this is black, uh, like a plastic material. But if you get the ST line, that's actually body colored. Uh, so it would give you more of a sporty look. And also on the bottom here, uh, this would all be body colored. So this actually gives you a nice uh, sort of sporty appearance with the new ST line. And if we take a look into the interior of this 23 Escape, now the seat design and the material has remained mostly unchanged. Uh, Ford still does use the Active X material, which is sort of a leather-like surface. It's a nice vegan alternative to a leather seat, so that is still a used in this 23. And being a Platinum, they're fully power operated and they're also heated as well. So they're very, very comfortable and in my opinion, a very good looking seat. But if we move on to the door panel, uh, again, mostly unchanged for the door panel here. We do have some nice soft touch material there on the armrest. And of course, everything here is power operated. We also have three-way memory on this particular platinum model. But if we take a step inside here, now we do have the key fob, which is also unchanged. We have the remote start system as well as the power trunk release on there. Um, but before we start it up, kind of get an idea of just the general design of the interior. Now the main change is this screen here in the middle, which I will fire up here. Uh, but first we do have the start button, which is actually moved 
from up here, which is a little bit cumbersome to use. It was a little bit of a weird spot, uh, if I'm being honest. So it was moved from here to now it's down here beside some of your buttons here. So foot on the brake and you can push that button and that two liter EcoBoost will come to life as well as all of your screens, uh, which is new for 23. So we do have the redesigned center stack here. Now the screen here in the middle is a 13.2 inch display and it is running Sync 4 which is actually new again for 23. Now this is one of two screens available. You also have the eight inch display and again, you have this larger 13 inch display. Now this is standard on platinum and it is available on the lower trim levels uh, as a part of a package, uh, which Ford now calls Tech Pack One. Uh, so I know it's getting a little bit confusing, but we do have uh, the availability of the screen on most of the Escape models. So that's definitely nice. Nice high resolution. Ford really did a great job with this screen here. If you're actually familiar with the Trans Transit, uh, Transit Sync 4. This is actually a very similar layout. Uh, Ford has been using that on the Transit for the past year and it's now available here on the 23 Escape. And this bottom section of the screen is your climate control. So you can control all your climate right there. And then you have your audio, you have your phone settings, built-in navigation right there, as well as some of your various features. We also now available is wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So previously it was a like wired connection, so you would have to plug in your phone and it would work, but now it is wireless, just like the F-150. So that's definitely a nice welcome change. Now if we move into the center gauge cluster screen, uh, this is also another change for 23. Now the previous model did have a digital gauge cluster, but Ford kind of redesigned the entire thing, uh, and it's now standard on a lot more uh, trim levels, um, but we do have a redesigned gauge cluster. So we have all your various different little trip and fuel information, uh, but we also have various different settings. Now what's also cool with this is now you can go into settings, and if you go into display setup, you can change the gauge style from modern and you can now go to classic and now you have a cool little animation and now a sort of more classic design for the gauge cluster so that's a cool little change uh, ford made for 23 you have the availability of actually changing the gauge cluster almost like you would see on the 24 mustang how you can kind of change the gauge the uh, the screens and their layouts uh, so that's a cool little thing cool little quirk there um, but on the steering wheel, steering wheel is mostly unchanged. Uh, we do have the heated steering wheel, which is on right now and feels fantastic. Uh, so we still have heated steering wheel for 23, which is a big deal because Ford does that, uh, does pull it out of a lot of, uh, of new models. And also being a platinum model, we have all your various different little driver assistance features here, which includes adaptive cruise control with lane centering. So we do have all the co-pilot driver assistance features on this particular platinum model and your various controls for the gauge cluster as well as your uh, hands-free phone button on the uh, right hand side and if we move down here uh, again we do have some changes so again that start button has moved and also here we have some driver assistance features so you can turn off your traction control as well as some uh, change some additional settings in there uh, but beside that we have your park assist auto start stop we also have max defrost and then we have the drive mode select so you can push that that will pull up the drive mode selection on the center sync to sc uh, screen. And then on this right side, we do have the camera. So you have that 360 camera and you can click that and cycle through all your various different views right there. We also still have the wireless charger, which is activated right down here. Uh, we have the wireless charger as well as some USB connections and also a 12 volt eight speed automatic transmission with this particular uh, two liter EcoBoost. If you get the hybrid, you do get the electronic CVT, uh, but again, this two liter has the eight speed automatic transmission. We also have an electronic parking brake and auto hold. And we'll take a look at the uh, window sticker real quick. So we do again have 2023 Platinum with the two liter EcoBoost in vapor blue. And this one doesn't really have any options. It has the, the uh, tow package, uh, which is always has, but the price is 44,774. Uh, these are Canadian dollars, so just keep that in mind. We are in Canadian pricing, so this might be a little bit of a higher price than you would see in the States. But again, the general design of the interior has remained mostly unchanged. Um, that main change being the center screen with the larger 13-inch display. But if you're familiar with the previous year Escape, this will be very familiar to you. And if we take a look into the rear seat of the Escape, uh, this is where the changes kind of come to an end. Uh, we do have that's the active X seats, just like the front, uh, but we still have the recliner adjustment and also the slider. So you can actually uh, push the seats forward and back if you want. We also have an armrest back here, which does include some cup holders as well. And we do have the USB connections. Now, if we come around to the trunk area, 
Now one major design change of the trunk is actually the uh, the trunk release. So it's, there's no longer a handle here. It's actually in the uh, sort of the beside the camera where you typically see on an SUV. So there's one change Ford did, uh, but the rear trunk area, again, this is very, very similar to your previous model. We have a 12 volt connector, so you can plug in a little cooler if you want, as well as the spare tire underneath. But that is the 2023 Ford Escape. If you're interested in getting one just like this, you can give us a call or visit us at mcveeford.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.